In today's video, we're going to be diving into the upcoming pattern where we have multiple opportunities for big time snowstorms in the central and eastern states as we see an overall much colder than normal pattern take over and really just stick around for quite a while and we're going to have a pretty active storm track so this will lead to multiple opportunities down the road including some this weekend starting tomorrow and sunday so let's go ahead and dive into things and first things first we're taking a look here at our gfs model and as you can see we have that colder air moving in we're getting some snowfall as soon as tomorrow on saturday as you can see for parts of the ohio valley mid-atlantic and northeast now we don't expect much of this to be heavy i would say northeast pennsylvania northern new jersey Eastern New York and then into New England is going to be the best chance for seeing uh, any accumulations, maybe talking in terms of two or three inches, maybe a little bit more for some of these spots. If you get under one of the heavier bands, these kind of all over the place snow systems, these weaker systems like this are very, very hit or miss. So that's going to be hard to exactly predict, but there will be snow around for these regions and be on the lookout for a little bit of accumulation overall. As we move towards Sunday, we do see a little bit of low pressure beginning to take place offshore of North Carolina, and we do have a little bit of snowfall down here for Georgia, South Carolina, even the Florida Panhandle, some here for Virginia into the Mid-Atlantic. Um, highly debatable. There is still a lot of model disagreement, and we're going to go into that. Um, but generally, this isn't looking like a massive snowstorm for anybody, but there is a threat of snowfall for the lower Mid-Atlantic into areas in the southeast here overall and again we'll dive a little bit more into that i think that we still have some time uh, to watch for some wiggling with this one obviously we're still two days away which is very short range but not so much when we're talking in terms of the models kind of slowly trending or shifting we could see, still see a little bit of movement and a little bit of changes and i do think that needs to happen obviously because we have all the models disagreeing we're gonna have to see as we get closer if they can agree upon something or if we're just going to have to literally wait and see. But this one has gone down to the wire and we still don't have much in the way of agreement, unfortunately. And this one on the GFS does get up into the Mid-Atlantic, New Jersey and Southern New England, getting some accumulating snowfall here in this instance. And all of a sudden, like I said, I mean, change is still occurring from yesterday to today. The chance for accumulating snowfall in eastern and southern New England has gone up significantly. And again, this isn't a massive snowstorm or anything. Uh, but definitely a couple of inches up to a few inches is certainly possible with this system. We stay cold after that system moves through. Lake effect snowfall starts really getting going over Michigan and areas in the northeast by the lakes. That cold digging even deeper for Monday and Tuesday here. Tuesday the 20th looks frigid. We do get a little bit of a disbalance where we do see that trough digging a little bit less deeply. By the time we're reaching mid to late next week. Um, we do see a snowfall move across more horizontally in nature, so it's not moving up the jet stream, it's kind of just moving across, and this does lead to some wintry weather across the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and even into the Mid-Atlantic here, as you can see, for Friday on the 23rd. That eventually arrives for the Northeast as we're looking at Saturday the 24th. And speaking of the 24th, we get an immediate kind of rebound here. We get another snow system moving through for the Plains, Midwest, Ohio Valley again in a pretty similar fashion. Also, could have some severe weather underneath for the deeper south, so be alert for that as well as we head later on towards next week. We see this system move up into the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast, where this low almost wants to transfer offshore. So it's originally here, a lot of that energy starts to shift towards the southeast. The storm isn't moving down to the southeast, it's almost just transferring where that low pressure is at. And we end up seeing a lot of snowfall again, Midwest, Ohio Valley. Northern Mid-Atlantic, there is a lot of ice going on here throughout a lot of these areas, but New England and New York here are seeing some pretty heavy snowfall with this one. And eventually that rain snow line does shift southward as we see that colder air moving in quickly overnight Sunday into Monday, where we might even end up seeing some Mid-Atlantic snowfall from a system like this, although we're moving into the longer and longer range here. So um, definitely something to watch for, but nothing is certain at this point. Uh, we do see a system want to dive really far to the south with some low pressure just after that 10-day mark where we get a trough really digging deeply. Some energy kind of swinging around that point just like this. And we actually get a pretty intense looking signal for snowfall starting up here for the Mid-Atlantic, starting with North Carolina and Virginia here up into the heart of the Mid-Atlantic. And we can see this thing intensify rapidly with heavy snowfall in these areas, a very vertical 
Um, nor'easter, it's a little bit further offshore than you would want for a massive snowstorm in these areas. So this would be a little bit less impactful with a minor detail, which again, 300 hours out, those minor details do not matter. There's a storm signal, there's cold air, and that's all the potential in the world you could expect at this range. So we have that signal there. We remain cold until the very tail end of the model run, where really we still see warmth in the west. We still see cold heading towards the east, so it doesn't really get unfavorable at any point here. We're still looking lined up for more cold as we enter into early February, which is very far out, and there's definitely time for that to change, but as of today, no end in sight for that colder pattern in the east. The European model with this upcoming Saturday system is more intense here for the Mid-Atlantic. We see eastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New England maybe having a better shot at maybe three, four, five inches of snowfall in there. Uh, definitely depends where you are, and it's still highly unpredictable, like I said, for tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Uh, but definitely, I would place that kind of southern New England area as a bullseye. Maybe, again, northeastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, southern New York, somewhere in that kind of quadrant would be the area to watch for the most snowfall. This Sunday system just slides a little bit too far offshore, and we get some wintry mix here for parts of the southeast, but really, really minor here for the Sunday system. Uh, again, New England does get some snowfall from this overnight Sunday into Monday uh, before that one moves out. Again, extremely cold for Monday the 19th and Tuesday the 20th. We do get that imbalance where, again, we get these storms moving a lot more horizontally. And similarly to the GFS model, there is a system present for the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. It's just a lot less intense in this instance. Once we move a little bit past that, Sunday the 25th, right around the 10-day mark, we do get another snow system threat for the Mid-Atlantic, Ohio Valley, and Northeast here. And it looks like maybe even another one behind it, storm number two trying to move in. Again, one's over here. Uh, and as we move forward, we do see that second one kind of lead to some snowfall in the Ohio Valley, Mid-Atlantic, and Northeast as well. Moving forward, we do get some more southern slider type action where we're getting a lot of our moisture from the Gulf. A lot of cold air moving in from the north, and you kind of get this snowfall squeezed in between here for parts of the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and even the lower Mid-Atlantic, or perhaps the upper southeast here. But again, very, very far out here, so definitely uh, a lot of time for that to completely change. Just a storm signal to watch at this point. And again, we don't really start to see a less favorable pattern until we reach right around the end of the month, and even then... If we follow the jet stream, it's more of a ridge in the west, more of a trough in the east. So we're still looking at that type of a balance uh, at the end of this model run as well. Total precipitation on the European model does show quite a few storm systems moving through the Gulf, even some moving up into the southeast here. We do have a relatively active northern stream moving through as well through this mo uh, model run. And then a lot of offshore activity in the form of nor'easters. So all it really takes, I mean, we're cold from now until the end of January, essentially here. All it takes is one of these storms to line up with the cold correctly. And there's a very active storm track throughout all of these areas. So we would have to be incredibly, incredibly unlucky to see no snowfall events in this scenario with active storm track, sustained cold for weeks. Uh, really, really active. We do see some activity returning out here to the west. So areas like Washington, Oregon, California, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming definitely need to be watched for heavier rainfall and snowfall for those higher elevations as we get a more active pattern moving forward. Now the temperatures, like I mentioned, very, very cold. We're under a pretty big cool down right now. Briefly for Saturday morning, we're a little warmer, but we do see colder air moving back in for Sunday. Pretty severely cold as well for the eastern states. We actually get a much bigger cool down for Monday, Tuesday here as we start to see temperatures perhaps 15, 25, or even 30 degrees below what is typical. So if your average high temperature was 50 and you're dealing with 30 degrees below normal, you're at a high of 20 degrees. Some of these areas are upwards of 35 degrees below normal. So we're looking at substantial departures from what's typical. If your average temperature is 30, 30 degrees below normal is zero. This is crazy, crazy, crazy cold temperatures that we see here for early next week. And as you can see, heading in towards that weekend, we get another blast of pretty substantially cold air again, and then an even bigger one moving in for that week following, Monday the 26th here. This is a pocket of 30 to 40 degrees below normal in these magentas. Definitely a massive, massive Arctic blast there. That one lasts for a few days. 
we even see more cold air on the way at the very tail end of the model run. With all that said, snowfall will be fairly active now for a lot of the mountainous west. They've been kind of shut down for a little bit, but we do see that kind of returning on the models. And then as we head towards the east, we could see a lot of the snowfall is descending, so we can tell it's colder in the east the further east you go. Essentially, for the northern plains, Midwest, Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, Mid-Atlantic, and Northeast, this is all looking like a really threatening snowy pattern. The only area where it's a question mark here is essentially your Mid-Atlantic region, uh, like southern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, Maryland, and areas below there. Uh, where it seems like the models are having trouble getting a storm system to produce in this region. Everywhere outside of there is essentially at or above average as far as snowfall for this upcoming two-week period according to this map. The GFS model, even snowier, much more snowy for every single region we just mentioned. Midwest, Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, Mid-Atlantic even, and then the Northeast here where we're dealing with feet, not inches, throughout these pink and pastel colors which is just so many areas here dealing with one two or even three feet or more of snowfall i think pennsylvania new york and then into new england here might be above uh two feet here maybe even above three with some of those purple magenta showing or purple um pastel showing up that's more indicative of three to four feet of snowfall which obviously take with a grain of salt that is a massive amount here but it just goes to show that these models are seeing signals for massive snowstorms still over the next two weeks. With all that being said, guys, be sure to subscribe. We upload every single day. You can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.